literally, I suppressed that hurt and pain for 20 years. This is the first office of All Dreams Inc. And welcome. All right, so this is my favorite burger spot here in Cartagena. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, August 16, 2024. And we have 77 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide, helping them capture and store their sports journey, build a community, and also earn money from their community, and much, much more. Um, man, Friday, it just keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps rolling over. And um, man, yesterday, yesterday was one of those days, man, you know. I, it's, it's one of those days where I think and I say, yo, you stopped playing ball way too early, way too early. Me right now being at 44 years old and playing with these young guys and uh, being able to do some things, you know, being able to do some things. I still think back like, yo, you gave it up way too early. You know, you quit way too early. And it's a serious thing because I think that's why I take the disposition that I have now that you look, look no matter what, I'm not quitting on anything that I'm doing, right? Uh, because literally, I suppressed that hurt and pain for 20 years, like really. Like internalized that from being a pro in Argentina to literally, I like, you know, I got cut and you know, talk to my dad and say, hey man, um, you know, what should I do? Should I go to the lower level team? Because I was in the top tier, uh, top level team. And uh, he said, man, look, you're getting older, man. You need to, you need to find a real career. Because that, you know, that's something that wasn't a thing. He couldn't see it. Uh, he couldn't see a 10, 15 year career overseas. And my dad was a you know, blue collar guy, he's a plumber. So that's, you know, his, and his father was a, a construction worker. So that's all he knew was working with hands, right? And that new idea of playing basketball for a living wasn't an idea at all. And it's funny because even in his journey of being a plumber, he failed. Now what if his father said, hey, you need to find something else, you failed at plumbing, right? But instead he continued to go, right? And that's one of the reasons why it's such a pain point for me, like in building the Audrey's platform is because you do, you need outside support, outside of your close circle, whether it's your family or your parents. You need outside support that will tell you, hey man, keep going at that. You know, I have a friend that, I was, that was on a couple of videos ago, his name is Ty. Like, what if he went to his parents and you know, I have this dream to play overseas basketball and his parents like, hey, you 28, you ain't gonna better do that. But then you have me that did it, I actually played pro basketball overseas and say, nah, yo, you can do it. And this is the best time for you to do it, you're 28. And I stopped playing when I was 24. I wish I had the opportunity to do it again, right? So. That's part of the pain points in building the platform is that, you know, to have that support, not just the monetarily support, but a community built in to say, hey, man, keep going towards that dream. Because you don't, you don't, you know, obviously, you know, like even if I was to play pro professional basketball again, I won't have a long span career because my body just doesn't react the same. I mean, yesterday was one of those days where I'm like, man, I can still really do this. If I can hit shots, it's gonna be, it's hard for people to stay in front of me. I'm 6'6", six, six, left hand, like, you know, like, it's just, it's just a hard, I'm a hard guard. I'm a hard cover. 
Um, you know, if I can get the needed uh, stem for my shoulder and my knee, this this can really be a thing. I can really make a run at this thing. Um, but again, I say, yo, I stopped play. I stopped doing it too early, way too early. So, with that said, man, you know, please, yo, go after your dreams, but don't go after them blindly. Like, you know, if you were five eight. You're not gonna play in the NBA, you know? But you could play overseas, you know, depending on how good you are, man. Become the best version of yourself that you can become. It's a, it's a, it's a tough thing. It's a tough thing because again, like, you know, I say this too, like when it's over, it's over, you know? It comes a time where basketball on a competitive level to get paid will be over. Like that will not be a thing. I, I still believe if these right things happen, I probably can get still. I probably can get paid to play for a short period of time. Short period of time. Um, but go after it, please, please go after it. Go after it. Uh, it's eight oh eight in the morning. Um, Friday, Friday here in Cartagena. Uh, hot, hot, uh, man, you guys have a good day. Uh, I'm not sure how much I will be taping throughout the day, but um, whether I do or whether I don't, you guys have a good day, this could be the video. So either way it goes, peace, enjoy your day. What's going on guys? So I just seen this video and I'll put the video like right here or right here. This is the uh, first office of Amazon.com Inc. And uh, over here, this is my desk here. And that's the uh, fax machine, as you can see over there. See this big orange uh, extension cord? This is one of the contraptions we have to have because there's not enough power in this room. Uh, so we have to bring in some extra circuit breakers. And, uh, it. So it's take long to tour the offices of Amazon.com. I always say things like, man, imagine if Bezos documented the complete journey of Amazon in real time as it's happening and put it on the internet as it's happening, as I'm doing here. Um, but I th think it would be really cool to do a video just like Bezos just did. Like, this is um, the first office of All Dreams, Inc. And welcome. So, welcome to the first office of All Dreams, Inc. Um, so, we have our board right here. This is my desk, but it also uh, doubles as a podcast table. And... Um, this right here is the other side of all dreams where we have apparel we have desks for employee desks for employee and of course a whiteboard Todo bien, bro. Trabajando, ¿eh? Sí, sí. Ya, <laughs> yeah, mi amigo. Todo bien. Todo bien, todo bien. Necesitan una vaina contigo, ¿eh? Ya. Así tú me pregunto a tu puedes. Ya. Más tarde. Chao, bro. And this right here is the the logo of All Dreams Inc. And this right here is the end zone of dreams. So that's about it. Doesn't take very long to tour the offices of All Dreams Inc. <laughs> Hi.
right, so this is my favorite burger spot here in Cartagena, Porto Steakhouse. And I like to go here like on Fridays uh, to grab dinner. So normally I don't show like after hours in the office or whatever, but I'm here in Central. It's a nice little clothing store right here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go here and grab some dinner. Oh. Oh, Umbar. They work for them? Yeah, no, Umbar. Oh, Umbar? Okay. Yeah. Can you have Yeah, gracias. Yeah, so this Porto is what it looks like. Beautiful architecture. I'm gonna go wash my hands first. What's going on, man? It's like 8.35 p.m. And I uh, just wanted to grab some water. Look like I'm gonna get a chance to play against some uh, higher level players tonight. Uh, now I've been wanting to test out things I've been doing, things I've been working on. Of course, I, I know with my, my knee and my shoulder, it's not like I can run many games, but I would like to get two good games tonight. Um, just to test and see, see, where, see where my shit is at, you know? See where I'm at. See if I can get around some guys, you know. See if this this is like riding a bike in the secondhand nature. So I'm yeah, headed back to the court right now. I'm gonna put my camera up there so I can film a little bit of it. And um, so you guys can enjoy <laughs> whether I'm some shit or whether I'm the shit. <laughs> so we'll see. You guys are moral.